So here's the definition of the inverse of a matrix. Let's go over one example together. So for now, we're going to just check to see if a matrix is inverse of another matrix. So later on, we're going to go over the process. Show that. So let us follow the note. B is the inverse of A. Following the note, A is given to us as negative 1, 2, negative 1, and 1. And B is given to us as 1, negative 2, 1, and negative. So following the definition, A is called invertible or non-singular. If we can find a matrix like B, if you multiply A by B or B by A, the output is equal to identity matrix. So let's check to A, B. What is the product between A and B? A is negative 1, 2, negative 1, and 1. B is 1, negative 2, 1, and negative 1. Remember the multiplication. It's the dot product between vectors. The very first vector, dot product with the second vector. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1. And here you have 2 times 1, 2. The outcome is equal to 1. Then negative 1 and negative 2 which is 2 plus 2 times negative 1 gives us 0. Ooh, so far, so good. So far, I got the very first row of I2, identity matrix of size 2. Now let us move on to the second row. The second row multiplied by the first column. As you can see, negative 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1. It is 0. And then negative 1 by 2, 2 plus negative 1, which is 1. So we ended up having I2. So let's check the A as well. We get the exact same result. 1, 1, negative 2, negative 1. Multiply by A, which is negative 1 and negative 1, 2 and 1. Here we go. So the very first row multiplied by the first column, we get negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. Here we're multiplying these two. 1 times 2, 2, negative 2 times 1 negative 2, so it gets 0 back. And then the very second row by first column, here you have negative 1 plus 1, 0, and 1 times 2, 2, negative 1 times 1, negative 1, so it gets 1 back. As you can see, it is I2. So left multiplication, right multiplication gives us I2, or the identity matrix of size 2. So what's the meaning of that? So since AB is equal to BA equals to I2. So we conclude that B is the inverse of A. So you can write B equals to A inverse. 